Perfect. Mark, how are you? Very well, thanks to you. Good. Mark, I, I have to ask you, um, just to make sure I'm talking with somebody who's either from the north or the south, Sitwite or Shimai? Um, I, I'm uh, I'm North Wales, so Sidwite. Oh, see? See? I mean, I, I, I try to... I'm going to tell you Welsh is very difficult. Even just to say hello and Googling stuff, it is a very difficult, because I speak Polish. Yeah. It is very, very difficult, the pronunciations. Yeah, it is, but uh, thank you for trying. Shumai, yeah. if Shumai was correct. That is southern. And and Siduiti, Siduiti would be where I'm from, North Wales. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, you know, it, it, before we get to Outlander, there's two things I wanted to bring up. One is w- the, the wonderful things that Ryan, Re- Ryan Reynolds is doing with Wrexham. AFC, yeah. the amount of, they're devoting not just to the team but but the town as well, which is beautiful to see. You know where that's you know where that's that's where I'm from. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, yeah, that's where I went to school in Wrexham. I'm from I'm from a village about four miles from Wrexham called Ros San Erchvigog. Wow, and, uh, Wrexham was Wrexham's my home team, and I went to school in Wrexham. Uh, my all my family still live there. So wow. yeah, what thing is incredibly special to me not just to wales uh and they've had you know they they the way they've dealt with it the way they've kind of gone in and not become you know we are the owners we'll do what we like they've said we we are here to serve you you know we're here to serve the people of Wrexham. and so it's 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 fact they've learned welsh they you know their whole attitude has been fantastic from day one yeah, and it's a beautiful thing to see, especially watching the people react to somebody who's very sincere. Um, one more question before Outlander. I want to say that one of my favorite episodes of, of a show ever, and I mean ever, is the episode you were in with The Crown. Um, is it, let me see if I can pronounce this correctly, Tuisa Cymru, do I have that? It's got that correct. Oh, see, and that's a tough one. But I'm going to tell you, Mark, of all the great work you've done, you know, Last Jedi, Master and Commander, it's maybe the greatest piece of television I've ever seen. I, I just, it's such beautiful work. Yeah, it, it, it was, it was, thank you very much. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a wonderful episode it, written by James Graham. And uh, it, it's, it's a real standalone episode, isn't it? And, and it's away from the whole, the palaces and all that, you know, it's going into Wales and uh, Charles on his own. It's the first time we see Prince Charles, that Prince Charles. And um, Teddy Millwood, who I played, was still alive when we shot it. And so I met him. He came on set. Wow. So, yeah. And uh, he was a very old gentleman at that point. He passed during COVID, sadly. But uh, yeah, what, what, what an amazing piece of history to tell. You know, it was... Um, it was lovely, it was so clever of the crown to step away from all of the, you know, the grandeur of of the palaces and London and and you know Balmoral and all that to a university town in in Wales. You know, wonderful. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a wonderful piece of of television. Um, speaking of strong characters, because that's the one great thing about that episode is you watch somebody going from you know, a teacher to a role model to potentially a friend. That's a great part of that. But then you see somebody like Tom Christie um, in Outlander who is very, very opinionated, knows what he wants. For somebody who hasn't seen one of the greatest shows on TV, The Outlander, talk about Tom Christie. Talk about what kind of character he is. Talk about his traits a little bit. Well, from the first thing <clears throat> we see, um, he's incredibly... Um... He's incredibly awkward and strict and pious and opinionated, as you say, and very um, self-willed. You know, Tom, it's Tom's way or the highway. Um, and, uh, you know, he tries to follow uh, the teachings of the Bible, hugely important to him, incredibly religious, doesn't see anybody else's point of view as being valid unless it's in line with his own. Mm difficult character to like he's a difficult character to warm to and 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 those that come across him you know if they don't uh, if they don't agree with him they they experience his wrath and uh, he's a very angry man very uh, yeah I, I can't imagine what it must be like to meet the real if I was to meet Tom <laughs> what that would be like you know very difficult to have, even have a conversation with him you know mm. 
he's uh, he, he's uh, you know he's 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 not easy, and yet there's something about him that certainly hopefully draws people in uh, as we go through series six into series seven. You know, and we and we see so many different aspects of it. You know, by the end of six, he's been on a already been on a big journey. You know, he's already there's already been shift. And there's already been transformation, and it's it's much bigger by the time we get to seven. But you know, if we if we think of post Malva death, there's always a huge shift when we see him arrive in Fraser's Ridge and say that he will escort, he will escort Claire. He's all there's already been major shift within him. You know? I think yeah. he's at, you know, he's at a very low ebb. <clears throat> and, and his world has fallen apart, you know, the whole, what he intended to do was start a new life with Malva and Alan in Fraser's Ridge. And, you know, even though his biggest antagonist was there in Jamie, you know, when he meets Claire, something happens, you know, despite himself, you know. And right. uh, they go, they, in a way, they go on their own sort of parallel journey through six, you know, with all the operation and the book and the, it's a, uh, yeah, he's, it's, uh, it, he's fascinating really, because he's so difficult to begin with. And yet, you know, we seem so vulnerable by the time we get to the beginning of series seven. What do you think it is about the show, Mark? Because I feel like I know why I would have liked it. My, and my late father would have liked it, but why, I mean, it's big. It's it's got like an eight point five on IMDb, which is almost unheard of. Uh, it's been it's been strong for a long time since two thousand fourteen. What do you think it is about the show that people just love and keep coming back to over and over and over again? Well, I think it starts with Diana. Really, I think yeah. this, the the books is where it starts, and she's written such an extraordinary world, you know, and it's vast and epic. And yet within that epic frame, it has these amazing characters and these relationships that are fascinating. And, you know, to think we're in series seven hmm. and it's improving, I think that's the thing as well. You know, I think, you know, there's no, there is no, there's no laziness at all with it. You know, it is, the, it, 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 the, the intention is to keep improving, keep bringing new, ideas and keep bringing new fascinating characters keep the story going you know watching these two people in jamie and claire get older is in itself extraordinary because we saw them they were so young when we first saw them mm -hmm. you know and now we see them in their middle age and it's it's you know it's almost like you're living with them you know you're getting old together mm -hmm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with them and uh, you know, and, and and when you know they bring in these new characters like the Christies and, and lots of others, you know, and these extraordinary people, we get a glimpse into, and you know, the 18th century America is, is you know, I know we start in Scotland, but now you know we're 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 in 18th century America. And what a fascinating piece of history and place to be, you know, to to take the story to, you know, I, I, as it is in Scotland, you know. Mm, mm. You know, two places that are really being transformed forever, you know, uh, um, historically. And, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's vast and epic. And in, within it, you know, you know, if we, as we're here, you know, to talk about um, my role in it, um, you know, if you think about the vastness and the epic quality of the depth of all those episodes, where do we end up? We end up in a small cabin on a ship, two people just talking to each other, you know. <laughs> and it has that quality. It has that real intimate quality, you know, within this huge wash of history and characters and travel, you know, all the all the stuff that you have with historical drama as well. But, you know, those two people talking to each other and being vulnerable with each other is timeless. Mm, yeah, and you throw in elements of time travel, war, history, all the things that you've said, and, and one of the things I found interesting that you said is there's never like a filler episode or an episode where, <clears throat> excuse me, they maybe take an episode off or or I'll go off point or waste time. 
It's always direct. It's always on point. There's never an episode yeah. where it's like, okay, I'll have a restroom break now. I'll go get a sandwich. It's like you always want to be in front because there's always things happening. You know, it's just, it's amazing. Yeah, I, and I think that <laughs> is part of their whole um, intention is to keep the to keep the narrative tight, you know, and 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 keep and also, you know, have these amazing arcs, you know, that these characters you've got you've got J- Jamie and Claire who've got the main arc for the whole series, and then within that you've got these small arcs and they build. You know, and and so you know you can you can have these parallel stories, and it, it's 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 amazing, really. And I'm so um, I'm so glad I'm so glad I'm part of it. Yeah, Mark, I have to say I am an enormous fan of your work. Whether we're talking The Crown or Outlander, um, uh, you know, just a, you're a wonderful actor, and thank you for all the years you've given me of joy and just pleasure of watching TV and, and movies. Thank you for all this. Oh, thank you very much. Very kind. Take care of yourself.